Okay, so it's the 4th of July, and I'm going to take you on a tour of the front yard garden. It's grown up a lot since the last video. Kale is doing really well. The beans are doing terrific. They actually need, as you can see, a lot bigger trellis than what I have. But they do have lots of flowers. These are the ground cherries down here. And they also are doing really well. They've got lots of little fruit setting. The tomatoes in the grow bags have lots of really big tomatoes. Over here we have some Swiss chard, some squash, nasturtiums, sunflowers, lettuce, and some kohlrabi. Harvested the first thing of tomato or potatoes already because um, it got a virus or something, but I did get quite a number of new potatoes from there, so it wasn't a total waste. In this bed, we have uh, a bunch of different lettuces, kale, um, dandelions. Just put in some more little kohlrabi starts right in there. That bed was charred. And there's more nasturtiums and a few more squash coming up, um, more sunflowers, including one that is actually blooming. Some little popcorn corn back there, but it's not... Some of it lived, but a lot of it died, so we'll see if we get any actual popcorn or not. The straw bale gardens are doing better since I fertilized them. They've greened out a whole lot and they look a lot better and they also are starting fruit on these as well. There's some more beans, some Swiss chard, the little apple espalier. Let's see, actually I'm going to come down this way. There's the millet. It's doing absolutely fantastic. We have a little purple cauliflower getting started in there more beans over here, and these beans actually have some little baby beans started, so that's pretty awesome. And then more Swiss chard, more tomatoes, these are the indigo blueberries, and you can see that it's got a lot of berries on there. This is Japanese Trofello tomato, and it has got a few gorgeous tomatoes on it. More beets, some lettuce, planted some more beets in there. There's a little pear espalier. On this side we have some sprouting broccoli, some more tomatoes, kale's absolutely gorgeous, some turnips. So yeah, everything seems to be doing really well right now.